Hey guys, Hyde here, and today we're hunting for the Hunter's Longcoat in Fallout 76. Let's roll. Some of you have been asking me, where do you get the Hunter's Longcoat? Well, it's a difficult process, but I'm going to show you guys here today how to find it. Before we get started, let's take a look at the Hunter's Longcoat here. I have it on my own character, you guys can get a good look at it. This is what we're hunting for today. The Hunter's Long Coat is a cosmetic item in Fallout 76. It's actually based on the Longshoreman outfit from Fallout 4. It's a rare cosmetic item you can only find on one specific vendor in a random event location. Random event spawns can be found all over the map, but this specific one we're looking for today is going to be inside of the forest region, and we can find one of these random event spawners down by Charleston Station, right next to Poseidon Power Plant. The main issue that we tend to run into, though, is that each of these random event spawns can spawn multiple different events, and it's completely random each time. So we're going to have to do a lot of server hopping in order to find the one that we need. And once we find the one that we need, there's a small problem that he doesn't always spawn with the Hunter's Long Coat. So you might have to do this multiple times just to find the right piece. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we are real quick and get this started. So we want to start at Charleston Station, which is down by Poseidon Power Plant, but you can find it on the map right here. And once you've come here, we're going to come on outside and we're going to go straight across these train tracks here. To the left here you'll notice this shack. This is actually where the random event is going to spawn each time. So let's come back around. We'll find this railroad bridge right here. This is the red bridge with a fallen power pole. We're going to walk right across it. And you're going to make sure that you get right over here onto the dirt. Once you get over here, this is actually going to put you into a different area, which is going to spawn the random event back at that shack. So we're going to turn around and come on back. And once we get to this side of the bridge, you'll see that one of the random events has spawned. Uh, this time it's a super mutant. So let's go ahead and kill him real quick. And if you come over here and realize that the event that you wanted didn't spawn, uh, the wrong one spawned, you can actually reset it by hopping servers. So what we're going to do now is open up our menu, go over to the social side, and go up to your name at the top here, and click Leave World. What this will do is disconnect us from the server, and then we can go right back in and join a different server. So just go ahead and hit play. From here you're going to let the game load back in, and then we're going to repeat the process. So once we finally load in, you'll notice that we loaded just north of the Charleston station here. So we're going to follow these train tracks right back across the bridge, turn around, come on back, and then another event will spawn. By doing this trick, you can kind of force these events to spawn and you can keep cycling through them until you get the one that you want. The one we're looking for today is going to be a vendor bot, a responder vendor bot to be specific and he actually is going to be accompanied by two iBots. Although this iBot here is not the one, this one is actually the Pied Piper event. Which is a pretty cool little, uh, little Easter egg there. So now that we didn't get the responder bot that we're looking for, we're going to 
repeat the process a few more times until we get what we want. So now you'll see here that once we come back across a bridge, we're going to spot the Vendertron, or Protectron, however you want to call it. And this is the one we're looking for here. We're going to go ahead and trade with him, and you can see that he's got a bunch of rare cosmetics that you can't find anywhere else in Appalachia. Today he's got the Ranger hat and the Yellow Slicker hat, along with a couple of specific notes just found on him, like the Cuckoo Clock and the Nuka Cola Clock. If he doesn't have the piece that you're looking for, you're going to have to keep repeating the process until you find the one that you want. It's a long process, it's really drawn out, but if you want the hunter's long coat, this is the best way to do it. For those of you that are looking specifically for the hunter's long coat, I believe it costs in the 700 cap to 900 cap range. I can't exactly remember how much it is, but that's how much it's going to be when you find it on the vendor bot here. Buying it from other players, you can probably find it on the subreddits Fallout 76 Bazaar or Market 76, but fair warning, players tend to sell it for about a thousand to two thousand caps a piece. It's pretty expensive.